More news that's coming in right now. No end to showdown over Rahul Gandhi's remarks against India in the United Kingdom. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar attacks Rahul Gandhi once again. Taking a dig, wailed dig, Dhankar slammed Rahul over his remarks in the UK that mics of opposition members of parliament are turned off in the Indian parliament by reminding him of how patriot leaders were being imprisoned during the emergency period. Vice President Dhankar, who's also the chairman of the Rajya Sabha, added that an attempt to malign India's image is underway. मैं राज्यसभा का सभापति हूं लोकसभा बहुत बड़ी पंचायत है जिनमें आज तक माइक ऑफ नहीं हुआ है और कोई बाहर जाकर कहता है कि इस देश में माइक ऑफ होता है कैसे बर्दाश्त कर सकते हैं छाती पर कितना सांप लौटता होगा हां देश के अंदर संकट आया था इमरजेंसी के दौरान माइक भी बंद हुई थी जेल में उन लोगों को रख दिया गया जो राष्ट्र भावना से प्रेरित थे माय कॉलीग अमित भारद्वाज इज नाउ जॉइनिंग मी लाइव फ्रॉम दिल्ली ऑन दिस अमित द रिपल इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट राहुल गांधी सेड इन द यूनाइटेड किंगडम कंटिन्यूज टू बी फेल्ट हियर इन इंडिया नाउ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एंड राज्यसभा चेयरमैन जगदीप धानकर अटैकिंग राहुल गांधी विदाउट नेमिंग हिम सेइंग वेल रिमेंबर व्हाट हैपेंड टू पेट्रिक लीडर्स ड्यूरिंग द इमरजेंसीज इमरजेंसी डेज दोस वर द डार्कर डेज Right, Paul. I mean, you know, so far what we had seen that uh, BJP leaders were coming in the front. Uh, the uh, union minister was coming, uh, were coming in the front to attack Rahul Gandhi for the kind of statements he have made uh, on a foreign land during uh, the Cambridge uh, speech. But now you have Vice President of India uh, in a public meeting, public address, saying that uh, you know certain people, Mike, were not working. Such allegations have been put up, and these allegations are completely false. Uh, However, uh, Jagdeep Dhankar, the Vice President of India, has not named Rahul Gandhi, but he has certainly reminded him of as to how uh, you know mics were sw uh, were turned off, how a uh, freedom of leaders, uh, the patriot leaders, uh, were taken away, snatched away during the time of emergency. So clearly, a uh, trouble for Rahul Gandhi is not ending as far as his uh, speeches and criticism of the way Parliament works. Uh, Uh, is concerned you know uh, we had uh, uh, heard how rahul gandhi had criticized and accused that his mic have been switched off at multiple times in the parliament but uh, this time around it is vice president of india who also is the chairperson uh, in the rajya sabha is saying it condemning such statements in a public address and saying that you know uh, such allegations which have been made by uh, without naming rahul gandhi obviously uh, he clearly said that these allegations are false mics were working and he also reminded rahul gandhi or for uh, for that matter congress party or people who ma who are making such statements uh, uh, about the period of emergency back to you polemi right Amit, thank you so much for joining us with all of those details. So, Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar there reminding Rahul Gandhi that mics indeed were uh, turned off, but that was during the emergency. Now, showdown over Rahul Gandhi's dying democracy comments in the UK has escalated. Now, the Vice President of India has hit out at the Congress Member of Parliament for claiming that opposition's microphones are turned off in Parliament. Jagdeep Dhankar says Rahul Gandhi is engaging in thoughtless and unfair denigration of India's democratic values. And there are important things that we need to speak about, demonetization, GST, the fact that the Chinese are sitting inside our territory. When we try to raise these questions, we're not allowed to raise them in the house. It's a fact. Some amongst us, including parliamentarians, in overdrive, are engaged in thoughtless, unfair denigration of our well-nurtured democratic values. A thorny debate, not in parliament, but over it. The Congress leader tells British lawmakers that the opposition's microphones are silenced in Indian Parliament. Rahul's microphone analogy on Monday drew on his assertions in the UK that Indian democracy is under threat. Indian democracy is a public good. It's it's three or four times the size of the United States in terms of numbers. 
uh, same with regards to Europe. So, so the surprising thing is that the, the so-called defenders of democracy, which are the United States, uh, European countries, seem to just be oblivious that a huge chunk of the democratic model has come undone, right? which is a real problem. The remarks drew a sharp retort back home. विदेशी धरती पर जाकर भारत को बदनाम करने का भारत को तोड़ने का और ये जहर फैलाने का काम श्रीमान राहुल गांधी जी कर रहे हैं सवाल ये खड़ा होता है कि आखिरकार ऐसी सोच क्यों ये कौन से अपने विदेशी मित्रों के लिए ये भाषा का उपयोग किया जा रहा है नॉट जस्ट द गवर्नमेंट इन द बीजेपी वाइस प्रेजिडेंट एंड राज्यसभा चेयरमैन जगदीप धनकर इशूड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग रिएक्शन टू राहुल the world is applauding our historic accomplishments and functional vibrant democracy some amongst us including parliamentarians in overdrive are engaged in thoughtless unfair denigration of our well nurtured democratic values the vice president told a book launch event on thursday that attempts are underway to malign indian parliament and the constitution he recalled how indian democracy was stifled when a state of emergency was ordered by then prime minister indira gandhi in the 1970s how can i sanctify your statement that mics in indian parliament are put off how dare and even pick up courage to say so has there has there been ever illustration yes we did have a dark chapter of our political history proclamation of emergency the darkest period which any democracy can suffer the congress has hit back the chairman however is an umpire a referee a friend a philosopher a guide to all he cannot be a cheerleader for any ruling dispensation party spokesperson jairam ramesh has accused the vice president of defending the government the congress insists the offices of the vice president and rajya sabha chair require no party loyalty and prejudices the back and forth between rahul gandhi and his critics pumps up the debate on democracy to the center stage of national politics bureau report india today